Over 100 million years ago, dinosaurs were all the rage, and mammals cowered in their huge shadow. But then, there was a badger-like creature that lived in Asia at the time, where most mammals were small and quick to get away from trouble. The Repenomimus was way bigger. It was the size of a large dog. Researchers think this creature wasn't too fast because it had short legs, but it was surely a carnivore. And surprisingly, there were dinosaur remains found in its fossilized belly. Turns out mammals were already evolving to rival the huge reptiles, and Repenomimus was one of the first to hunt them down instead of being hunted. It's not clear yet if the giant badger was a hunter or a scavenger, but it was big and bulky enough to be both. Dinos, beware. Then there was the Opabinia. You could easily carry it around with you, but whether you'd want to is another matter, because it had not one, not two, but five eyes. The Opabinia looked so strange that when scientists reconstructed it in 1972, they first burst out laughing. The Opabinia had a trunk-like mouth which it used to fish around the mud for food. But because it didn't have teeth, it probably only ate soft food. The Terror Bird, a large carnivorous bird that looked like it stepped out of a horror movie. It had a sharp beak that had the force of a sledgehammer, which wouldn't have been good news for its prey. The terror bird was one of the most dangerous predators in South America during its time. It was a flightless bird, but it was also a very fast runner. The only way to outsmart it was to take sharp turns while running, for these birds could only run fast in a straight line. The megalodon was the largest fish that ever lived. Female megs were nearly twice as large as the males. Its name, megalodon, means big teeth. And no surprise, its teeth were three times larger than those of the great white shark. The megalodon appeared after the dinosaurs became extinct. Now, it's extinct too. But when it was alive, it seemed to have lived in nearly all parts of the world, except Antarctica. If you thought modern-day piranhas are bad, you should have seen the mega piranha that lived in South America millions of years ago. If you compare its size to a dog's, it was as long as a golden retriever and weighed as much as an adult cocker spaniel. The mega piranha could exert a force up to 50 times its own weight. Pound for pound, that's more powerful than even the T-Rex's bite. There were lions in North America that disappeared around 13,000 years ago. This was around the same time that mammoths went extinct. These lions were almost 25% larger than those of today. Fossils of these ancient lions were discovered in the La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles, along with many other interesting creatures. An armored fish, the Dunkel osteus, didn't have teeth. But that didn't matter because it had razor-sharp bone protrusions that were like a pair of shears. It could snatch its prey by opening and closing its mouth at a speed of 50 milliseconds. Some scientists believe the Dunkelosteus swam sideways like an eel. Fossils of this fish can be seen in many museums all over the world. The Titanoboa was the largest snake ever discovered. This giant crushing machine was even able to consume a crocodile. It lived 60 million years ago in the tropical forests of South America and looked more like a boa constrictor but acted like a water-dwelling anaconda. Although the titanoboa is now extinct, people still find it fascinating. There is a full-scale replica of it in Midtown Manhattan. The Tully monster lived 300 million years ago but researchers learned about its existence only about 60 years ago. From what we know, it had a soft torpedo-shaped body and vertical fins. The Tully monster was one of the most bizarre creatures ever, and scientists just couldn't figure out what it was. First, they thought it was a type of worm, then a sort of squid. Now, they say it's closest to a lamprey, which is a parasitic fish.
The largest member of the canine family was the epicyon, which is now extinct. The term epicyon means more than a dog, and it certainly was. It was as long as a lion and weighed just as much, and its huge skull had a lion-like shape to it. The epicyon may have either gone after prey or scavenged for food, but they ate everything from rhinos to horses. There was nothing to smile about if you ever came across a Smilodon, but don't worry, it went extinct many years ago. This saber-toothed tiger lived in the forests of North and South America until 10,000 years ago. The Smilodon had impressive upper body strength, which helped it wrestle its prey to the ground. This was bad news for all the mammals in its area because it was especially fond of having bison and camel for breakfast. The Jekyllopterus was a giant scorpion that lived in Germany 400 million years ago. It was longer than two yardsticks laid end to end, and it was the largest arthropod that was ever discovered. Its fossilized claw, found recently, was longer than a loaf of bread. The Jekyllopterus was called a sea scorpion, but it preferred to live in rivers and lakes. It was not a picky eater, and it ate fish and other aquatic animals smaller than itself. Even the smaller ones of its own kind weren't safe when the larger ones were around. One of the biggest flying insects of all time was the Meganeuropsis. It looked like a dragonfly, but its wingspan was unbelievably wide. These insects probably grew so big because there was more oxygen in the atmosphere then, which fueled their growth. Meganeuropsis lived in North America in the prehistoric era. It was so big and hungry that its diet included small lizards and young amphibians. To get rid of this creature, only a swatter larger than a table would be of any use, and a piece of its wing is still preserved at the Harvard Museum of Natural History. Whales were once land dwellers and moved to water only 50 million years ago. The Bacillosaurus, despite its name, was not a dinosaur, but one of the first marine species, and it was much larger than other early whales. It was longer than a four-story building, had a gigantic head, and a bite to rival the T-Rex. Fossils of some smaller whales carry the teeth marks of the Bacillosaurus. This is not surprising, since it was one of the top predators of its time. It ate nearly anything, but its favorite food seemed to be dolphin-like creatures. If you thought grizzly bears were bad, you should have seen the Arctoda semis. This short-faced bear could run really fast, faster than wild horses and antelopes. One study suggests this bear consumed more meat in a day than most people would eat in a year. It used to dwell all across North America until 11,000 years ago. It used its enormous size to intimidate smaller predators, such as saber-toothed cats, American lions, and dire wolves. If you don't like rats, then the Joseph Fortigatia will be your worst nightmare. The only thing worse than its name was its size. In fact, this rodent was as large as the bull of today. The giant rat lived in South America around 3 million years ago. It had fearsome front teeth that enabled it to ward off predators. It also made full use of those cutters to crop grass and other vegetation. The first bird was the Archaeopteryx. Some say it was the missing link between birds and dinosaurs. It was actually very small, no bigger than a raven. This animal had very sharp teeth, three fingers with claws, and a long bony tail. The Glyptodon was one of the armadillo's ancient relatives. Heavily armored with a round bony shell, it looked like a turtle, but was as large as a car. It was an herbivore, but it had a flexible bony tail, which it used to defend itself from predators and to fight its own kind. The Neuralagus rex was the T-Rex of rabbits, and it was nothing like the cute bunnies we're used to. For one thing, it was massive, weighing six times as much as the European rabbit of today. 
it ate roots and yams and lived in an idyllic insular environment that had no natural predators. Perhaps that's why it could grow so huge. <laughs>